What's up guys, this is Leviathan Kraken here. I hope you're all doing well with this Arctic weather that we've been having, this Arctic blast, or whatever you want to call it. I'm currently sitting at home bundled up uh, with frozen pipes. <laughs> but other than that, I'm doing all right. I hope you guys are well. So there's still a lot of people out there that have absolutely no, no idea what's going on. They load up their game, they noticed it auto-updated, and they're like, oh, let's see what's in this update. They load up all their mods, and nothing's working. And they're like, "What's what did I do wrong?" You know, and they're spending time trying to fix it. But they didn't. Little did they know, the automatic update, living large, broke everything. So, here we are, a few weeks later, and we have, as you can see, a few mods that I've got running. I've got a few here, and this is the BEP NX configuration manager. So. I'm going to, since, you know, 2023 is a few days away, I figured why not make a video talking about how Subnautica is modded in 2023 and beyond. So let's get started. So here we are in the Nexus Mods homepage, and this is the main program that you're going to want to get, BepNX Subnautica Pack. So this is a mod loader that works specifically with the Unity, and since Subnautica has been brought over to the Unity engine uh, that Below Zero had, this is what you're going to need, and it's pre-configured specifically for Subnautica. Also, you're going to want to get this right here. This is called the Configuration Manager for BepNX. And what this does is have it so that way all you have to do is press F5 and you can tweak your mods in-game. And it makes it really convenient. I mean, you don't have to have it, but it's for me, it's a must-have. I think it's really good. This right here, uh, BepNX Tweaks. I mean, what it's saying here is that this is... If you don't have this on there, then your mods will get buggy if you back out and go to the main menu. So this is like a little bit of a compatibility patch, whatever. So this, you know, I highly recommend downloading that as well. So get this, the tweaks, the configuration manager, and then the main file. So what you'll do is you'll, you know, of course, go to files, go to manual download. And then for me, it's slow download. It's, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, here is what I downloaded today. This is the BepNX. This is the main file right here. So in your main Subnautica directory, get rid of your QMods folder, get rid of anything with QMods in it. You're not going to need that anymore. You're going to be moving all this over to your main, you know, for me it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Subnautica. And once you get that, you know, just drag it over to your to the main folder. That's as simple as that. And in BepNX, you're going to click on that. And from now on, you're not going to be having a QMods folder. You're, you're not going to be, you know, you're not going to be putting in anything in a folder called mods. It's going to be going in your plugins folder. And so for some other things such as the configuration manager, uh, I wanted to point out that you, you'll download some of these mods and they'll come in this folder and then you'll see plugins folder. It's like, just ignore that. Just scroll through here, highlight this and move that directly over to your plugins folder. Don't let that confuse you. And then some of these, such as the color item, for example, it comes with its own folder. Now, I don't know if it makes a difference if you choose to put this directly into the plugins folder or if you... For me, I moved the color item folder, you know, as they gave it to me in here. So some of them come with their own folder, some don't. So far, they all seem to be working, so I don't know if that matters. <laughs> All right, now here we are on... I'm going to have a link to this page in the description. This was also linked on the Nexus mod page. This is so far a list of every mod that is currently working for Subnautica, for the Bepin X program. And this is going to be literally updated possibly every day. I mean, at least every week. So by the time this gets published, it might even be out of date. I don't know. But... This guy, you know, he posted this, Ramoon Neptune, uh, this is his Discord, so if you are a modder and for some whatever reason you don't want to post on the Nexus page and you 
updated your mod, you can go ahead and message him and let him know, and he can link your mod to this page. That way people know where to find it. So anyway, guys, the link to this page will be in the description. All right, so here we are back in Subnautica. Um, as you can see, I've got extra quick slots. I've got colored buildable items. And I will show you here the mod configuration manager for Bepin X. I can, all I have to do is hit F5. I can click on something and I can tweak it. I can have less slots or more, however you want to do it. And you can even adjust your colored items. Now this, this one particularly seemed to be a little bit buggy for me because it wanted to, like here I'll show you, it wants to change the color of certain things automatically and I don't want it to do that. I want it to just do the certain things that I built just now. So hopefully they, they figure that out. But anyway, just you know, it's so much easier to be able to tweak your mods in game, you know, doing this right here. And then once you're done with this, you just click off. That works just fine. So I hope this video helped you guys, you know, just to kind of see where we're at for the moment in the modding community. You know, it won't take much longer. I'm sure most of the mods will be up and running very soon. We don't have a long list right now, but it'll get longer day by day. So so if you, ha if you guys have any questions, uh, comment on the video. Please give it a like if, if this helped you out. Please subscribe. And I will continue to try to provide more updates for Subnautica mods. And I'm going to start moving on to Below Zero mods because there's some pretty cool ones that I saw on there. There hasn't really been a whole lot to talk about for Below Zero, but I definitely plan to do that. So anyway, peace out, guys.